In this session, I am going to discuss about the concept of cells, EMF, internal resistance and combination of cells in series and map. This cell, this is a word we commonly hear in our daily life. If you look at our wristwatch, it has a cell. If you look at our wall clock, it has also cell. So, in our daily life, the cell has many applications. Then let's see the history of a cell. There was a scientist called Luigi Galvani. He was uh, doing an experiment in his lab. Actually, he was uh, cutting the frog's leg. So, while doing so, unknowingly his knife touched the nerve of the frog's leg. He observed the sudden movement in the frog's leg. He studied on it and he finally came into one conclusion that this is a phenomenon of animal electricity. In that time, there was another scientist called Alessandro Volta. He was uh, not ready to accept the results of uh, Galvani. So he again, uh, he did the experiment on it. But he came into different conclusion that the movement in the frog's leg is because of presence of two magnets. So keeping this idea, he has developed one cell. That cell being uh, framed as a old type cell and this is the basic for development of a cell. Okay. So this is the history of a cell. Now let us uh, come to the concept of uh, cells here. Now let us think what is the function of a cell? Why we have to use a cell in our daily life? I have given the example of wristwatch in the beginning itself. This wristwatch will run by the cell. That means the cell will provide some energy to run this wristwatch. So that what we can define is cell means it is a device which provides a electrical energy or in other words what we can say is cell is a device which is used to maintain the steady current in an external circuit yes then let's write the definition for cell but uh, you should uh, keep in mind that the cell I am going to use here is electrolytic cell I'll explain it later about the electronic, electrolytic cell first of all I am going to write the definition now It is a device used to maintain steady current in a cell. So this is the definition for a cell. It is a device which is used to maintain the steady current in a circuit. Now, knowing the definition is not enough. Now we need to know how to represent the cell symbolically. Now let's see the symbol for us. Symbol. We can represent the cell like this. We should draw the two parallel lines. One line should be longer, another line should be short. So this longer line will have a potential of, uh, plus potential means positive charge will be there. And this has a negative charge. So this is a symbol for cell. Then, is there any types of cells? Yes, definitely. There are a lot of cells are available today. But uh, in this concept, we are going to deal the electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell means these cells use as some chemical solution. That is called electrolytic solution. So that electrolytic solution has some electrical conductivity. Means we can pass some current through it. Yeah. And uh, the, those electrolytic cells further classify into two categories. 
the first categories are they are classified into two types the first one is primary primary cell second one is secondary cells but what is the difference between the primary cell and secondary cell primary cell means this is a cell which are non rechargeable we cannot recharge it again and again once if you have used you we cannot use it again that is a primary cell then secondary cell means these are the cells which are rechargeable you can use it again and again see here this is a battery we are going to use uh, in our daily life that is a everyday battery this battery is uh, primary cell once you use this if the uh, once you use this you have to throw it away and this is called the uh, secondary cell because you can also see the label here if you clearly look at the label it is there rechargeable means we can use this cell again and again so this is the types of cells primary cell and secondary cell okay now let's see the construction of this electrolytic cell let's see the construction let's see the construction So this has a property of electrical conduction. 
So the current will pass through this electrical this uh, solution. Okay. Now, what is our task then here? What uh, why we have to study this? So we have to know here is what is the potential that is developed across these electrodes. That is what we have to find out. For example, if you have connected any external source, that means you have connected any bulb to these electrodes, then what amount of current the cell can give, or what amount of current can current that can be drawn from this cell, that is what we have to find out here. So to find out this, we have to uh, first we, we should write the potential across these two points. That is the potential across. P and N. So you should keep in the mind that this cell is not connected to any external circuit. Means you have not connected any external resistor or bulb. Nothing you have connected. In that condition, the potential throughout this electrolytic solution will be same. There will be no potential difference if you take any point here. And if you take another point here, the potential of both the points will be same. There will be no difference in the potential. That is why potential difference is zero here. So if there is no potential difference, no current will flow. So there will be no current flowing when this cell is not connected to any external cell. Yes. Now let us find the potential difference between P and Y. and M is potential difference between P and M. Okay. So we already know that at the point P we have a potential plus V plus V plus. At the point M we have minus V minus. We have to find the potential at these points. Then what to do? We have to take the potential difference here. Let us get the potential. We have to find the potential difference here. The potential of the point P is a V plus and the potential of the N is V minus. Then we have to write plus V plus, it is understood. V plus minus difference you have to find out. Difference, so minus of V minus. What will happen? So minus, uh, minus V minus becomes uh, plus. So V plus plus V minus. Now, I will introduce uh, another term. Here instead of writing this, I will write E here. E means it is called electromotive force. Simply it is known as an EMF. It is electromotive force. That means it is not a force. It is the potential difference. It is the potential difference. When? It is a potential difference between electrodes when this cell is not connected to any external cell. If this cell is not connected to any resistor, not connected to any cell or resistor, then the potential developed across uh, these electrodes is called as a yeah, electromotive force. Yes. Now this is E. Now let's connect this cell to any external cell. That means let us connect resistor to this. Then let's see what we So the symbol for here is uh, like this. This is the symbol here. This one negative. So now we are going to connect the same cell.
the point here and here. So this has, this has to be connected on external circuit. We have connected one resistor here. This is a resistor of resistance whose resistance value is high. So if you have connected on the external circuit, the current will flow from E to M. Because the electron gets a path to flow, that is why the current will flow here. This is I. I is a current will flow from P to N M. After that, that current will flow like this, N to B. After that, it will flow like P to A. After that, it will flow like P to B. So this follows this electron or the current will follow that path. So this is a outer part of the cell and this is the inner part of the cell. If you look at the outer part of the cell, this outer part, upper part, in this upper part, the current will flow from P to M like this. But if you look at the inside, the current will flow from here to here, that is from M to P. So here, current is moving in the opposite direction to this, this current, the direction of this. So we should uh, keep that thought in our mind. Okay. So we have now connected the resistor here. So that uh, I amount of current will pass through this resistor. Now let us imagine we have connected one uh, this resistor. The value of this resistor is infinite. Infinite, very high resistance we have connected. So if you have connected an infinite resistance here, this would be the above case. Because if you have connected infinite resistance, then uh, infinite resistance here, then no current will flow through that circuit. Then this is a similar to case. So in this case also we have to find out the potential difference across the beginning. Let's try. Okay. When R is in my name, Plus. 
So again, let the point A point A point A to be B plus. Then plus V A. What is the potential there? B plus. Minus. What is the potential going to be? This potential minus V minus. So minus V minus minus into minus that becomes plus V minus. All right, yeah. So then, what is the potential at B? Again, that should be minus V minus. So plus into minus, it will be minus minus V minus. Uh, then minus V M potential at B M <coughs> minus of minus V minus. That becomes plus V minus. Let's open the bracket. V plus minus V plus plus V plus plus V minus minus V minus plus V minus. So this is cancels out, and here plus V minus minus V minus cancels out. What do you remember? Plus V plus plus V minus. This is the same result we have got. So this can be calculated in that form also. So here the result is. I'll directly write here. V plus plus V minus. Okay. Now, so now you to make use of this for the to calculate this potential difference when an infinite resistor is connected. Now, so V is equal to how to find the potential difference? How to write? So the potential difference between V P A, V P A, potential difference between this V A V plus potential difference between this V B M. So I told you, if we connected a infinite resistance, no current will flow. So this is a something like the previous uh, situation. So in that situation, what we have to write? V plus plus V minus. That is why you get E makes what? Electromotive force. So electromotive force means it is a potential difference between the positive and ne negative electrodes of a cell when it is in open circuit. Then you should know the uh, meanings of the two words: open circuit and closed circuit. Most of the times we use in physics. Uh, open circuit means open circuit means this is something like switched off condition. If you put the switch off, no current will flow. That means it is in open circuit. Closed circuit means it is in something like switched on condition. Means the current will flow. So in the open circuit, no current will flow. In the closed circuit. In the closed circuit, uh, the current will flow. So this is a condition of condition something like open circuit means no current will flow through the circuit. So this is good. now let us take another condition that if the value of this resistor is finite, if finite resistor is value of resistance is connected here, resistor is connected here, then what is the potential developed by process? Let's find. So again, V, V is a potential difference, potential difference between uh, P and L. When finite resistance is connected. Then we can try the potential. How to find the potential? Same method we have used. V P A. V P A. Potential across uh, that electrode plus potential across difference across the uh, solution. V A B plus potential across V A and B. Okay. 
So this can be written as Vp minus Va plus Va minus Vb plus Vb minus Vb. Okay. So when when this uh, cell is connected to an external circuit, the current will flow. In that condition, the potential at the point P and A are not same. If it is same, no current will flow. The potential at the point M and B are not same. They are different. Because of it, the current will flow. If it is same, no current will flow. Yes. Then see. So V A minus V B is there here. V A means it is the potential A. B, uh, B, B means it is the potential at B. So this is electrical solution, uh, electrolytic solution. I told you it has electrical conductor, but it is not a pure conductor. It will have some resistance. So whenever the current flowing through this electrolytic solution, that electrolytic solution will offer some resistance. That resistance is called as a internal resistance of a cell. It is represented as a smaller internal resistance. It is represented as small r. So internal resistance means it is the opposition offered by the cell to the current flow through itself. This is known as internal resistance. Okay. So let's see here. So Va minus Vb means it is a potential difference between the point A and B. So if you subtracted the two potentials, what do you get? If you subtracted the two potentials, you will get another value of potential. That is the potential difference uh, between these two points, E and B. So this potential can be written in another form using the Ohm's law. We know the Ohm's law. V is equal to I to R. So this V is it can be written as I. What is the current flowing here? I is the amount of current flowing here. I into the same current will flow through the electrode solution also. I. I into what is the resistance here? That is an internal resistance. Small r. So I into r. That is why Va minus Vb can be written as I into r. And here Vb minus Va is there. I told you the beginning. This uh, potential at P and A are not same, that is different. That is why if you take the potential difference, uh, you will get uh, V plus here and uh, here V A minus V it should be I R. But here I will put minus sign, negative sign here, minus I R, I will write. Because I told you in the beginning, if you look at the upper part of this cell, the current will flow from P to M. But if you look at the inner side, the current will flow from B to A. It is in opposite direction to this. That is why we should put negative sign here. Minus I R. So this will be plus into minus. We should write this value here. So minus I R. This gives a value of the potential difference for that. Uh, next rod gives B minus. <coughs> so let us write this together. V is equal to V plus plus V minus minus I R. So this can be written as P, we already know it, E image EMF, E minus I R. This is V. Now, this is a V potential which is developed across these two electrodes when an external resistor is connected. Now, if you wanted to find out the potential across R, what you have to do? Where you have to keep the voltmeter? Voltmeter, you, you may, I think, uh, you know about the voltmeter. Voltmeter means it is a device which is used to find the potential. So, if you want to find the potential around this R, where you will get the voltmeter? Again, here or here you have to keep. Means, at the same points you have to keep. Okay, then you can say that the this is a V is equal to e, to e minus I R yet the same potential will also appear across this one. What is that? Resistor. Then let us write one sentence here. Potential across across resistor is V. Same potential will appear across a resistor also because uh, uh, 
while finding the potential, you need to connect the voltmeter to the same point, means at the points P and M. So V is equal to what is the current through this resistor? I. What is the resistance of this resistor? That is R. V is equal to I to R. Now let us substitute this value in this equation. So let us write uh, this as a one, this as a two. Two in one, substituting, substituting two in one. Then we get. I'll write here. I'll rub this and I'll write here. Substituting two in one, so we'll get uh, I into R, which is equal to E minus I R. E minus I R. Let us uh, uh, write the I terms together. That means let us take the I R to the LHS. So what will happen? Minus R becomes that becomes plus R. So if you if you take it to the RHS. Sorry, LHS that becomes plus I R. So in the both the terms we have I as a common. That is why we can write uh, uh, taking the I as a common here. We can write I into R plus R which is equal to E. So I is equal to which is equal to E divided by the uh, RHS that becomes E divided by R plus R. So this is a Equation for current that is drawn from the cell. So this is the current given by the cell. We can calculate using this equation. I is equal to E divided by R plus R. So what is R here? R is an external resistor we have connected. For example, if you take the value of R is equal to zero, if you put R is equal to zero, what will happen? Then the equation becomes. Equation becomes I is equal to if if R is equal to zero, then I is equal to E divided by R. That means the maximum current will flow through this when R is equal to zero. Okay, that is the equation here. I is equal to yeah, E by R. Now let us find let us find. The potential across this one, P M, or the potential across this. What is the equation? Uh, how to find that potential? Let's see. The potential across P M is. Let us write uh, across the resistor because they are one and the same. Across the resistor is V is equal to I into R using Ohm's law. I have written here uh, while deriving we have written this equation for potential across the resistor V is equal to I into R. So V is equal to what is the I current drawn from the cell? This one. So I is equal to E R divided by R plus. So this is the equation for potential across the resistor. Or the same potential will also appear across these two electrodes. I told you before, whatever the potential developed across the PN is same is the same potential appear across the resistor also. That is why. This potential can also be called as a terminal potential difference. Initially, we have defined one term that is EMF. EMF means it is it is a potential difference between the two electrodes of a cell when it is in open circuit. Now again, this is a terminal potential difference means it is a potential difference between the two positive and negative electrodes of a cell, but when it is in closed circuit. That is what important. Now, circuit is closed. Closed means switch on condition. Okay. So this is about the concept of cell signal. Okay. Then uh, here is a situation. We have 
one bulb and uh, operating voltage of that bulb is 12 volt. But uh, to blow that bulb we don't have a source of 12 volt. But we have source of 2 6 volt batteries. Means so we have 2 6 volt batteries. Then uh, can we blow that bulb using the, those two cells? Yes, definitely we can do. Then what to do? We have to do some combinations. We have to uh, know how to connect these cells to get 12 volt. Let's see. And the symbol here is, symbol for this, symbolic representation is like this. This is a symbolic representation and uh, this concept of cells is very important. So, if it, it will appear for 5 marks in your final examinations.
amount of water is flowing in the first pipe, the same will come out of the second pipe. That is why the current flowing through the two cells will be same if they are connected in series. So that is why if you connect the two cells in series, the current flowing through the two cells will be same. Okay. Now let us mark some point here. That is a point A here, point B. Let us take the point C here. Okay. And this has to, you should imagine that this is being connected some external circuit. That means you have connected some resistor. Something else you have connected. Otherwise, no current will flow. Okay. Now, what we have to do here is uh, we have uh, combined the two system in a series manner. Then we should see what is the amount of EMF. Then what will be the magnitude of this internal resistor. Whether the uh, value of uh, EMF will be increases, decreases, or whether it is going to be zero, or uh, whether the in value of uh, inter resistance is going to increase or decrease, we have to see that. Yes. To do that, let us find the potential difference across these two points, AC. So, to find the potential difference across an AC, to find the total potential across this, potential difference across this, what you have to do? You have to add the potentials of the cell of M E1, cell of M F E2. If you add the potential down across these two, that will give the total potential across this. Okay, let's let's start. Potential. Potential difference between A and C is how to write V. Let's say V is a potential development there. So this V is equal to how to write? Can I write uh, V A B plus V B C? Yes, I can write. So if you know the potentials between uh, A and B. If you know the potential between B and C, if you take the sum of them, then you will get the total potential V that is developed across this combination. Yes, that's it. So V A B, this is the potential across the first cell, that is a cell of EMF uh, E1. V B C means it is a potential around the second cell and the potential uh, and the EMF E2. So we have already given an equation uh, in the previous derivation. So that is uh, uh, potential around the cell e B is equal to E minus e, e minus and R. This equation uh, it is derived with the previous concept. So we have to apply that equation here and we have to do some arrangements. Okay. So let us apply here V A B. This is V A B is equal to E. E becomes one of the first cell that becomes E minus. And minus and current through the first cell is I as well as the sec second cell is also I same current. That's the I you have to write here. No need to write I want to write here. I what is the internal resistance of this cell for the first cell we have applied? I one plus V B C for the second cell you have to apply this equation. So V B C is equal to apply that. E becomes for the second cell E2 minus I becomes I itself, R becomes R. Okay. Now let's rearrange it. Rearrange it. Let's write the E1 and E2 terms together. These terms are good. So E1, open the bracket, that becomes plus E2, plus E2 minus, this becomes minus. So plus E2. Then here we have a minus R1 plus into minus minus so that here we have minus I R2. So in the both the cases we have minus I minus I is a common. Let's take it outside so that we can write uh, C. I'll uh, write step by step minus I R1. Here it is minus I R2. In the both the cases minus I minus I common. 
that is why let's take it outside minus i r1 plus r2 i have taken the uh, minus i as a common which is uh, as outside so so this is v so here v is equal to e1 plus e2 minus i into r1 plus r2 so instead of using these two cells if i am able to replace this cell by a single cell so how to write them if i replace this two cell by a single cell this is single cell whose emf equal to the total emf of the these two cells the emf of this cell is total emf of these two cells and whose internal resistance is equal to the sum of the or the total internal resistance of these two cells so that i can write here e as equivalent emf of the these two cells and r as equivalent internal resistance of the that two cells so that the kind of bit for this okay if if the combination of cells replaced by single cell of emf and internal resistance emf of e equivalent and internal resistance of are equal then we can write this as this equation as e equivalent instead of writing e1 plus e2 i will replace as e equivalent minus i into r plus r2 into r so this equation gives the total potential across a these two cells when they are connected in series so for comparing these two equations we can write comparing of these two equations we can write in the place of uh, e equivalent here we have e1 plus e2 where e equivalent equal to e1 plus and uh, r equivalent equal to r plus so this is the result we have got from this derivation so here when the two cells are connected in series their emf r right means increases and their internal resistance also increases so this is the result uh, when the cells are connected in series see here this is the cell and uh, this is actually a battery and uh, here you can see the 6 volt this is a 6 volt battery and you can see some cells here these are the three cells we have here and uh, Like if we say the potential of the first cell is two volt, second cell of the second cell also two volt. If the potential of third cell is also two volt, and uh, these three cells are connected in series, then what will happen according to this equation? Three cells we have. Then we should write e one plus e two plus e three. If the each cell has a two volt potential, then the total potential will be six volt. The same has written here. This is a six volt battery. That is why battery means it is a collection of cells. Okay. So this is about a combination of cells in series.
Now let's see another combination of a cell that is parallel combination of cells. So cells in parallel. Yes. How to get the two cells in parallel? For example, uh, let me give an example. Uh, if there are uh, two buses, they are uh, traveling one straight line in the same direction. Then you can say they are parallelly moving. That means the something has to be there in adjacent and uh, they should move in the same direction. If the two buses are moving in an opposite direction in a straight line, then that would be anti-parallel. Okay. So parallel means you should take the two components and uh, side by side and something has to flow in the same direction. Let's draw here. So let's take the two cell here. One cell, another cell. Okay. What is the aim of this cell? Let's say E1 is the M of this one and uh, whose internal resistance is R1 and uh, internal resistance of the second cell is uh, E2 and sorry M of the second cell is E2 and internal resistance of the second cell is R2. Then let's take two common points here. Let's write this is a B1 point B1 this is a point B2. Okay. Then let us connect Two positive terminals of the two cells to the one common point that is a B1. Let us connect these two terminals to this point. We are connecting one com to connect into one common point. Again, let us connect the remaining two negative terminals of the two cells to another common point that is point B. We are connected it. Now we say these two cells are connected in parallel. So from this point, from this point, you have to connect it, connect it to some external circuit. That means you have to connect uh, it to uh, some resistor or you can connect a bulb also. Something has to be there, otherwise no current will flow. So once you connect it to the E1, a some amount of current will flow from this. Let me say I1, I1 is a current from the this uh, cell of the E1. In the same way, there is another current I2 will be flowing from the cell of EMF E2. Uh, yes, E2. So what will happen? These two currents will join at the B1. They, these two currents will enter the point B1. After that, they will join and they give another well of current that will flow here. Let's say, let me say so from this what you can say is uh, if you add the I1 and I2 you will get what? I. So that will that current will flow into the circuit again that will come here. That follows that will follow that path. So again that current enter the point V2 again that splits up as a I1 and V2. So from this what you can say is I is equal to because same amount of current, current is entering the point B2 and the same amount of current is going out of the point B. That is why whatever the current here must be equal to this. That is why we write I1 plus I2. Now, there is a case to find out the potential around this cell. We have to find the potential. Where you will keep the two terminals of the voltmeter where you here we have to keep like that, like this, you have to connect the voltmeter here, yeah? you have to keep here. If you want to find out the potential across this one, if you want to find the potential across second cell, where again, again you have to keep, if you at the same point you have to keep, that is why the potential around the both the cells through these points will be same. So potential developed across the B1 and B2 because of this cells is B. So you should remember this when two cells are connected in parallel the same potential will be there. If the two cells are connected in series the same current will flow through the two cells. Okay. So let's 
So there is a potential there. Now from figure, I told you from figure i equal to i1 plus i1 plus i. Now let us substitute the value for i1 and i. How? We already know the equation uh, for potential around the cell. There is a V is equal to E minus I to R. Okay. What we have to find out here? I1 we have to find out. That means let us rearrange this equation in terms of I. How? Let us take the minus I R to the LHS. Take DV to the RHS. That becomes I R equal to E minus D. So I equal to what will happen? E minus D by so now we got the equation i is equal to e, ma e minus e by r that is a common general equation okay now what is i1 it is a current through the cell of m e1 i2 means it is a current through the cell of m e2 let's find current through cell of m e1 is I will equal to, we know this form, use this form here. What is a, a EMF for the first one? That is E1. In place of E, I have to write E1 here. What is a V? It should be V only. Because when two uh, cells are connected in the parallel, the potential developed across uh, two cells will be the same. So that is a E1 minus V divided by what is the resistance? Zero resistance first cell that is R1. Similarly, current through cell of EMF E2 is I2 equal to same equation you have right, uh, same uh, method you have to follow there, follow here. So E2, even becomes E2 here, V should be same divided by Let's take this is equation number 1, this is equation number 2, this is equation number 3. Substituting, substituting e 2 and 3, equation numbers 2 and 3 in 1, in the equation number 1. In the equation number 1, then I uh, will write this here. Substituting, what will happen? I equal to I1. What is the value of I1? I1 equal to E1 minus V by R1. E1 minus V by R1. Plus, second equation I2 is equal to E2 minus V by R2. E2 minus V by R. Okay. Now, let us take a common denominator to each term, each term. So E1 by R1 minus V by R1 plus E2 by R2 minus V by R2. Okay. Now let's write E1 and these terms together. This has to be. So what will happen? I is equal to E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2. E2 by R2. Then here we have minus V by R1 minus V by R2. In the both the terms we have minus V is a common. Take it outside. See. Minus V divided by 1 by R1 minus v by r. I have taken the v minus v as a common here. So v uh, it, uh, it is remained with the 1 by r2. If you multiply this, you should get these terms. You get. So minus v into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2. Now, let's take a common denominator here for the both the terms. I equal to take the common denominator for the first term R1 becomes R1 R2 E1 
वन आर टू प्लस ई टू आर वन यू टू टेक द कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर तब भी चलेगा मल्टीप्लाई ई टू विद आर वन ई वन विद आर क्या तो इस बार आर रिटर्न है फर्स्ट टर्म माइनस बी इंटू आर टेक कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर दे दैट बिकम्स आर आर टू दैट इज व्हाई you are right the numerator as r2 plus r1 okay now what is our intention we have to find the potential b it is on the lhs sorry rhs let's take it to lhs let's take the i to the rhs so taking the minus b of r2 plus r1 divided by r1 r2 to the uh, lhs that becomes plus so V into R2 plus R1 divided by R1. We have to take the plus sign to the RHS. So that uh, become plus into R1 divided by R1. Minus I. So here it is plus sign. If we if it goes to the uh, RHS. That becomes minus sign. Now we want only V here. Let's take uh, this to the RHS so that this term will divide here. Then we have to write this inverse. And uh, let us multiply that inverse or uh, that value to the both the uh, terms. So this becomes V is equal to E1 R2 plus E2 R1 divided by R1 R2. You have to divide this. So that it will be inverse. So then I will write as a like this: R1 R2 divided by R1 plus the first term. Then minus I into for this term also you have to divide. Take the inverse of it. Then this becomes. I into R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. So here R1 R2 cancels. So we left the uh, I1 R2 plus E2 R2 divided by this R1 plus R2 minus I into R1 R2. Divided by R plus R. Okay. Now, if I am able to replace these two cells by a single cell, I am going to replace these two cells by a single cell whose EMF is equivalent of this and whose internal resistance is equivalent of this. That's why I will write. Equivalent and R is R equivalent. Current is here. Okay. So that uh, you can write. In the combination is. Replaced by single cell of EMF equivalent and internal resistance are equivalent. Then we can write this equation as this whole term can be written as equivalent minus I into This will be done for R part. Okay. Yes. Now, by comparing these equations in the place of E equivalent, here we have E1 R2 plus E2 R1 divided by R plus R2. In the place of R equivalent, here we have R1 R2 divided by R plus R2. Yes. So, where? E equivalent equal to E 
one R two plus E two R one divided by R one plus R. And R equal and equal to R one R two divided by R plus. So this is the result we will get when two cells are connected in parallel. So this is the equation for EMF when two cells are connected in parallel. And this is a equation for internal resistance when two cells are connected in uh, parallel. And this is the equation for uh, potential across of two cells when they are connected in parallel. That is, V is equal to E equivalent minus.